Nothing's more frustrated than to put together a puzzle and have a missing piece. And that same frustration is also found in our own lives. As our lives come together and we journey through this world, we find there are missing pieces in our lives. And for all too many, what's missing is plans. I actually brought some plans with me. You might recognize them. They're architectural drawings that were used in the building of our campus. It's important to know what you want to build. And so before we built anything, on the, we got a hold of an architect and then he drew out some plans. They went to an engineer who helped make sure everything would work together. And then we hired a contractor to actually build it. Now these plans actually resided in the trailer. They left them spread out. And as the building was being built, there were unforeseen issues that kept arising. Walls that needed to be moved, hurdles that needed to be overcome, things that needed to be changed. Now the architectural drawings were outstanding, but these show in handwritten, in red, those adapt adaptations, those changes that need to be made to make sure the structure was functional and did exactly what we want. They're called as-built drawings. And I want you to know they're very valuable to us. We keep them kind of hidden in a very special place where we can get to them, where they won't walk away. Because when we need to know what's really underneath something and what really happened, we can go to the out as, build, as built drawings. As we live our lives, it's important that we recognize that we have a great architect that designed our lives. And not only did he design our lives, he put things together. He engineered things so that we could be all that he intended us to be. And as we walk through this world into the unknown, unexpected things to us happen. And that great architect takes those and uses them to be modify what he has, modify our lives in such a way as we could accomplish all that he wanted us to do. And so if you go back and look over your life and those events, you can see how all those changes help build your life, build you into the person God wanted you to be so that you could function and do the things that he wanted you to do. I hope plans aren't missing in your life. Because if you walk into the unknown, and we all are, it's something, the, uh, the future is something we cannot know. But if you were to walk into the unknown with no plans, well, that's just foolish. What would you build without plans? Maybe a dwelling place for your pet in the backyard. You might just get after it and start building it. But if you want to build something that's really going to last and be functional and be able to touch many lives, you need to have a plan. So as we walk into the unknown future, I hope that you have a plan. I mean, it'd be foolish not to. And if that plan is that you're going to just fix things and figure them out as you go, that's very lonely. Wouldn't you want to bring someone alongside you? Maybe the architect and engineer of your life? So as we walk into our unknown, I hope that we will each choose to let God be a part of our plans. And as we do that, we commit our plans to Him. We don't lean on our own understanding, but in all of our ways we acknowledge Him. And He makes our paths straight. That doesn't mean we don't have problems. It just means that He is working all things together so that we can accomplish the plan He has for our lives. And that ultimate plan is for us to be with Him forever in heaven. And so are you going to follow His plans? Are you going to determine that you're going to go it on your own? That going it on our own is a very lonely journey into the unknown future in front of us. And so we looked at that beautiful passage that said, Commit uh, your plans to the Lord and, uh, and they will succeed. We contrasted that word could commit and admit. I hope you'll at least admit that you need God as a part of your life. But it's more than just admitting you want His presence. It's committing your life to Him. If you're a Christian, that means in the waters of baptism, you submitted to Him. You gave Him your life. And you, you were raised out of those waters of baptism to walk a new life with Jesus as Lord of your life. I hope you won't take back that admittance that you needed Him. 
Instead, you'll live a committed life with your hands, your life staying in His hands always. And He's going to journey with us. I hope you'll look at the discussion guide. It brings to light several verses and asks some questions that you, by yourself or with your family or with those who gather around you, can spend some time in God's Word thinking through what it means to have God's plan be a part of who you are and what you do. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know someone who does, and that's God. And wouldn't you love to have Him taking you into that unknown?